which I is would. awesome. Here we go. Right there. Well, that's put it there too, but also the shirt. Oh. I am the hard hit a quick with a rhyme spit up. We're going to keep with Meryl Streep if my people could ever get up. Ten minute conversations with my best friends. It's time to begin. Chalk skin tip. Yo, you may not know it by looking at me today, but at one point in my life, some random dude walked up to me. He called me a nerd. That's the worst thing you could ever call anybody. Seriously. My next interview is with the biggest nerd I ever met, MC Frontalot. He even invented a whole genre of rap called Nerdcore, which takes pride in the fact that he's a nerd. Yo, in 1999, Damien Hess was exposed to gamma radiation that turned him into a rapping monster with a pocket protector. Not content with just wandering the earth and rampaging through cities, he christened his own movement. Welcome, the godfather of Nerdcore, the 579th greatest rapper of all time, MC Frontalot. Good evening. How you doing, MC Frontalot? I'm pretty well. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yo, so from what I understand, you got your start on uh, Song Fights. Song Fight. That was the website. Mm -hmm. Now take us back to those early days of the internet. Mm -hmm. um, you weren't earning anything except for respect at that point. <laughs> what made you pick up the mic and get started? I always thought that rapping was cool and rappers were cool. And as a person who had um, coolness sort of withheld from me, socially um it was you know an enjoyable fantasy to imagine rapping in front of people and then internet came along and you could like put mp3s on internet without having to necessarily attach your uh face and personal ego to them like the old the old gallery on frontalot.com was just a bunch of famous rappers with their faces blurred out like different famous rappers and yet people still couldn't figure out that they weren't me I feel like a lot of people who don't know who other rappers are came to my website in the early days. Less so now. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just always thought rappers were great, and so I wanted to make rap songs. And I, I was kind of more into home recording mm -hmm. originally than making music, because all my friends were musicians, and I didn't feel qualified. But I was good at making recordings, and I would record them and do mixing. I used to have a four-track, you know, in high school and college. And then all of a sudden, my computer was fast enough to, you know, have a whole studio in it. Um, so I started making my own rap songs and stuck them up there semi-anonymously, including on Song Fight. I don't think anybody knew who I was. Yeah, you went sometimes by, uh, what was it, Urine? Oh, Urine Luck. Oh, yeah, I had a lot of. Urine Luck, yeah. I had various bands of on Song Fight, such as Urine Luck and the Milwaukee Youth Center Choir and Dubose Triangle. So you've got an educated background. You have two degrees. You have uh, one in English, and you have one in digital music. So personally, what do you think is more important, the music or the lyrics? Um, honestly, for hip-hop, the lyrics um, are more important. Because once you've got a good lyric composed, you could make 50 different hip-hop tracks out of it. And people will. Yeah. If you allow them, make all of those for you, and that's wonderful. But the the music, the music can morph and morph, and the song can. If you've got a good seed in the lyric, the the song will remain the same. Absolutely, man. Okay, so you had a documentary made about you, and ever since then, you've become like the spokesperson for nerds. You were in the People versus George Lucas, a bunch of other things like that. So I want you to speak for the entire nerd community oh. and settle something for me here and now. What do you got? Is Pluto a planet or what? Pluto's a dog from a lot of really old Disney cartoons. I'm not familiar with uh, any astronomical implications. Excellent, man. Okay, so check this out. You were in The Walking Dead comic book, which I is was. awesome. So I want you to settle the age-old debate. Which one is scarier, the shuffling, relentless zombie mm -hmm. or the angry, running zombie? I feel like 
Well, obviously there's a, a, a greater immediate danger if a fast zombie's running at you. Right. Sure. Shock value, fear of life and limb, the fast zombie is going to get the adrenaline up reliably. Right. But I think a shambling zombie is scarier existentially mm -hmm. because anybody running at you and being violent would be scary. That could just be some dude who's having like a terrible day. Right. Um, identified you as the object of his ire um, and is approaching, uh, whereas a shambling zombie makes you think about, oh, God, yeah, when I die, I'm no longer going to stand upright very well, and what if I'm also hungry for flesh? How terrible will that be? The shambling zombie makes you think about yourself. Mainstream rapper, which one would be the best at nerdcore? Huh. Mainstream rapper. But you know, there's a there are some mainstream rappers who kind of are a little bit nerdcore and have been be since before there was nerdcore. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, do you remember Special Ed? Yeah. Uh, and Del, you know, Del the Funky Homo Sapien has always been totally geeked out. And that was what drew me to him in high school when his first record came out, dating myself. I think the Fat Boys in some ways too. Fat Boys, Fat Boys definitely had that outcast, downtrodden vibe, right? Yeah. But they did not have, and one of one or two of them had spectacles. Yeah. But uh, I would not go to them for help with math homework. It's a good point, man. All right. So, which was better for your career, the Penny Arcade Expo or Elmo's Potty Time? Ah. Uh, um, Penny Arcade Expo, of course. Uh, Toddlers have very limited disposable income. <laughs> but th being on that Sesame Street DVD has definitely gotten me uh, props from unexpected um, and wonderful corners. Because when a parent has to listen to that, you know, six or seven hundred times, or, you know, five or six times, depends how good their toddler is at picking up basic life skills. Mm -hmm. But once you hear that a bunch of times, then you're like, you start to, it's like it's the, the way that pop songs invade your head and on the radio. It's like, you know, oh, the song sucks, and you hear it 30 times. You're like, oh, yeah, call me maybe, you know. And it's, uh, it's the same with poop videos. Yeah. That makes sense. That's why they're so popular online, I would imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are hog jowls? Uh, I assume it's sort of this part of the face, but not of my face, but the face of a pig. And I assume if you're trying to prepare a pig for, for eating, you separate the different parts of its face, yeah. label them. Snout. Snout. Ears. Uh, Eyebrows. And then feed them to people who like that kind of thing, yeah. I assume. And people do, and more power to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh. Can you fix my computer? I can, but I won't. What if I give you $20? Well, how, how messed up is your computer? It's just got a lot of viruses. I don't know where they came from. I don't go to those websites. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll take 20 as a retainer. And then if I get over there and I don't want to fix it, then it'll be 200. Excellent. Can I wear your glasses? Just for a second. All right, yes. Okay, cool. You don't have like slippery fingers? No. I am greasy from Comic-Con, but oh my goodness. Those are not pretend glasses. Wow. What would you be doing if you weren't doing nerdcore hip-hop? <sighs> Suffering, sleeping less. <laughs> Getting up early, probably accounting. I'd probably go back to, have to go back to accounting. Accounts payable. No, yeah, I did accounts payable for a long time. That's not a good job. That job consists of people who your company owes money to calling you up and asking why you haven't paid the money to them, and then you're trying to explain to them lies about why. And they've told you, don't pay them. Wait until after it's due, and then tell them some bullshit on the telephone. That's not a good job, telling people bullshit, telling people who need money that you owe them bullshit on the telephone. Kids, don't fuck around with accounting. Don't do it. Last question. What is the future for Public Enemy? That's where you cut off the video. Ciao.
Yo, that was a cool video, right? So do me a favor, hit like, hit share, hit subscribe. Not at the same time, because your computer will explode. Who is your favorite up-and-comer rap artist? I'll give you a hint. Starts with the C, and it rhymes with hawk skin. Nothing is coming to mind. That interview was so cool, I think I'm gonna rap about it. Click here, check out the rap, it's so dope.